Have you started preparing for the CAT? No, really. Have you started preparing for the CAT? Just joining an institute or buying some books or enrolling for a test series or buying an online program does not really constitute CAT preparation. As you would have seen in one of my videos, you would know that there are three stages to preparing for the CAT. The first step is understanding the concepts. The next step is being able to apply those concepts, especially when they are in a jumbled format. And the third step is attempting these questions under the pressure of a timer. Now, if you have understood these three steps, you would know how arduous the journey is when it comes to preparing for the CAT. Now to help you with the same, we at Point99 have come up with a unique offering. So what we are going to do is every day we will be having a test specifically for all of you in the morning, which will cover one particular area. Now you are expected to take the test and you are expected to turn up for the YouTube live session that will be present in the evening, wherein I will be solving all these questions using the best methods that are present out there. Now make sure that you are taking these tests on an ongoing basis and you are attending these sessions live as well. If there are any doubts in terms of any question that you would have, you can ask during the live session and we will be more than happy to reply to those. Also make sure that you are doing this on a consistent basis and you are not getting gaps into preparation purely because at the end of the day, if you are being consistent, you will end up doing really well when it matters the most. Now make sure that you go through the tutorial that will follow this particular video and make sure that you sign up for this particular offering because it is going to impact your preparation in a positive manner and I am sure we are going to have a lot of fun solving questions together. So this is the beautiful portal that we have designed for your benefit. It's called point99.learnist.com. Now if you want the URL for this and if you are watching it on our YouTube channel, I have put the URL in the description box below. And if you are watching this as a part of the LMS that you are on, then that is the platform that I am talking about. Now, once you are here, what you have to do is, one, you will have to figure out how to sign up for this particular portal. So, if you have not registered with us, you will just have to create an account. You just need a mail ID and a password and you will be able to create an account and complete your verification. Now, once you are done with it, you just have to sign into your account and you will be able to see the daily drills program as a part of your learning experience. So what you will be able to see here is the test series bit, which is the daily drill for CAT 24 preparation. Now in this particular context, once you reach here, if you have not enrolled for the program, you will have to enroll for it, which is a free enrollment anyway. So you will have to just click on enroll for free and you will be enrolled into this program. Now once you are in this program, you will be able to see the tests on your right hand side and you will be able to see which test you are appearing for on the left hand side on the panel. Now, of course, this is a demo login and that's why you'll be able to see a few elements here which will not be present when you go for the actual thing. So, for example, if you're looking at the number of attempts, we'll have one attempt for each test that will be there for your entire journey. You will also have the tests that are present and they will have some average score that you are going to get at the top. You will also be able to see the timer for each of these tests as to how many minutes are you going to get for each test. So you'll be getting 20 minutes to solve on an average 10 questions. So let's say for example, you are attempting a data interpretation test, then you will get 20 minutes to solve two sets. Now we have divided the daily drills program into nine broad areas. These areas are reading comprehension, verbal ability, data interpretation, logical reasoning, arithmetic, algebra, geometry, modern math and number theory. Now these broad areas are what are going to be tested on these daily drills on a daily basis. Now what you're supposed to do in this context is you will have to appear for the test every day. So every day in the morning the test will be made live. Once the test is live you will have to take this test in the stipulated amount of time. So if it is a 20 minute test you will have to have one sitting of 20 minutes wherein you will be attempting all the questions that are there and then you will also get the key to these questions. Now I'll just show you how to attempt this particular test. Now let's say for example, we are looking at this reading comprehension test. I'll just retake the test for your benefit. You'll be able to see the instructions page again, pretty standard. And then once you start the test, what will happen is you will see the timer here. So it's a 20 minute timer that you will be able to see. There will be this reading comprehension passage that you will be able to see on your left. And on your right, you'll be able to see the individual questions that are pertinent to each passage. 
Now let's say for example, I answer these questions randomly. So the first question I mark it as B, the second question I mark it as C, let's say for example. And then I want to submit this particular question. I'll be able to submit this test as well. So let's say for example, I finish early and I'm done with all the questions in say 18 minutes. I'll be able to submit the quiz as well. Now before you submit the test, you'll be able to see this panel, which will talk about the questions that you have answered, the questions that you have skipped or are unattempted and questions that you have marked for review. Again, it's standard boilerplate. And once you submit it, you will be done with the test. Now you'll be able to see the score that you have got. Now in this particular context, because you have answered a question correctly. So luckily I got a question, right? I got three marks for that. Now, because I got a negative marking of minus one, because I've got the other question wrong, I got a penalty of one mark. And that's why my total score is going to be three minus one. That is two. For theta questions, there'll be no negative marking as is the case with cat. Now, once we are able to go through the entire report, you will see a lot of parameters that are there. You can explore these and try to get better on a daily basis. So question wise report, we'll be able to see in terms of how many questions did you get right? How many did you get wrong? How many did you not attempt? What is your score? And what is the amount of time that you have taken to finish this particular test? Similarly, you'll be able to see how you performed in terms of the time spent on attempted questions uh, in terms of they being correct or incorrect or skipped. And then you will be able to see where you stand as well. So in terms of the toppers list, the number of people who would have taken this test will again impact your rank. So in this particular context, because unfortunately there are no learners who have taken the test till now, we will see that I am ranked first in spite of scoring a measly two marks. I'll also be able to see my score versus the average score that people have scored versus the toppers score that exists. And then again, I'll be able to see a topic wise report. Now in this particular context, because we are dealing with questions at an area wise level, although the questions will be across various topics, we have not really tagged them in terms of topics. Now, of course, as we grow further and we have more programs in the mix, in those programs, you will be able to see topic wise performance as well. In terms of the level of difficulty, again, we have graded the questions in terms of that level of difficulty. And in this particular context, you will be able to see as to what was your performance like in terms of the easy questions, in terms of the medium questions and in terms of the intense questions that were there. And that is basically the analysis that you're going to get once you're done with the test. Now, here is the fun part. We also have a very active YouTube channel wherein we keep on posting on a regular basis about the various notifications that you get, the various strategy tips that you might need and the various content pieces that might aid your preparation. On that YouTube channel, we are going to go live every day at 8 p.m. with the same set of questions. So I'll be solving these questions live in front of all of you and we can have a healthy discussion in case you have some inputs about any of the questions or if there is some doubt that you might have in terms of the answers to any of these questions. Now we'll have a wonderful discussion there and we'll be able to learn together a bit more than what we would have started the day with. And if you keep on doing this over the next five, five and a half months, I'm sure that you are going to do amazingly well when it comes to the CAT. So make sure that you turn up every day for these sessions because as I generally like to say, 80% of your success lies in turning up. So make sure that you are attending these sessions regularly, you are taking these tests regularly without any breaks and I'm sure at the end of the next six months or so, you are going to benefit a lot in terms of your preparation. So I hope to see all of you there attending our live sessions and taking our tests.